Hello there! In this video we would like to demonstrate Aetna Traders layout and see how traders can arrange different widgets on individual tabs. Essentially, Aetna Traders layout consists of a collection of tabs, each tab containing several widgets that share a common purpose. For example, if we go to the Trade tab, here we have all widgets that are necessary for placing orders. We have Stock Ticket, Watch List and Account Information. And similarly, we can go to the Management tab to see all the widgets for management, we can go to the Options tab, to the Stocks tab, and so on. And in similar fashion, we can create and configure other tabs for different purposes. For example, let's create a new tab called Market Watch. And now, let's add several widgets that will help us monitor the current market conditions. All widgets available in Aetna Trader can be viewed in the drop-down menu under the Add Widget button. We can click on each and it will appear on the screen. Let's add News. Let's also add Watch List, Finvis, and finally let's add Stock Tweets. We can also resize the widgets. As you can see, all four widgets are stacked vertically so we have one widget next to the other. However, overall, the information on the screen is not balanced. There is a lot of content at the top and pretty much nothing at the bottom. Let's fix that by moving some of the widgets to the bottom. Let's hover the mouse over the title bar of the watchlist widget and drag it all the way down until we see a gray rectangle. Notice that if the width of the gray rectangle is equal to the width of the tab, it means that the watchlist widget will occupy the entire area at the bottom. If we let go, the watchlist widget will occupy the entire area at the bottom. We can also resize it. Furthermore, we can also place this widget strictly and directly under some other widget. The way we do it is we drag the widget over to the target widget until we see a gray rectangle. And notice that this time the gray rectangle occupies only the width of the widget. And if we let go, the watchlist widget will occupy the space directly underneath the news widget. And just like that we can arrange widgets in vertical stacks, in horizontal stacks, and so on. Ok, now let's explore another layout feature, and that is widget grouping. Basically, widget grouping enables traders to link a collection of widgets together, thereby ensuring that if a specific security is selected in one widget, all other widgets with the same color will display data for this security. Let's see this in action. As you may notice, all widgets have the same color, and that is green. We can also change it to something else. For instance, we can select dark blue. And obviously we have to do this for all widgets. When we do this, notice how information changed in one widget automatically triggers changes in other widgets. Let's go to the Watchlist tab and click on Google. Notice how we automatically get news for Google, we get the Finvis page for Google, we have the chart for Google, and if we change the ticker symbol here, we will automatically see the Finvis page for this company and also its news. And this is a very powerful and convenient way of syncing data between several widgets. As a matter of fact, even custom widgets can be linked by color with system widgets. For instance, if a broker decided to create a widget that displays some analytics on a specific security, this widget can be linked by color with other widgets, and whenever a trader clicks on, let's say, Amazon, the custom widget will automatically display analytics on Amazon. Alright, and the last piece of functionality that we would like to demonstrate is the ability to isolate widgets in separate windows. This can be achieved by clicking on the leftmost button in the title bar of the widget. This button is called Detach Widget, and once clicked, this widget will pop up as a separate browser window that can be dragged around and rearranged based on the shooter's preferences, just like a regular browser window. Ok, so that is it for this video. If you have any questions about widget layout in Aetna Shader, feel free to send us an email at sales at etnasoft.com and we'll be glad to answer all of your questions. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again in the next video. Bye!